back to the channel. Sorry it's been a while. Well, it's been about a week. I did miss another weekly roundup due to university and work. So being busy at this time, but hopefully in a few weeks, weekly roundups will be back. All news regarding Norwich City and some different content on the way. Not football related. Some of it is football related, but more interesting content and engaging content and enjoyable content instead of the whole match review preview. Although that is still interesting. Anyway, I am back with a preview to our game against Barnsley, last game of the season, which is Alex Tetty's and Mario Vrancic's uh, last game in a Norwich City shirt. I'd imagine they'd both be starting this game. They've both been absolute heroes for the club. Um, Alex Tetty, obviously, a long-serving player. I think signed in 2012, I want to say. Um, it's been, you know, just so, so reliable, so consistent. Only the odd bad performance, you know, some great, great memories. The, the toe poke against Man United, the volley against Sunderland, um, the volley against Preston as well. You know, so many great memories of Alex Tetty. You know, he's been for ups and downs at this club and, you know, he's a, he's a great servant for the club and I'm, I will miss him usually. You know, ever since I've been going to Norwich games, Alex Tetty has been a Norwich player, so... It's going to be very, very strange not seeing him in a Norwich shirt at all anymore. Um, but a, a great player and a great servant to the club nonetheless. And Mario Vrancic as well. You know, if we needed a man to win us the game, it was always going to be Mario Vrancic. You know, he, he can score free kicks in the last minute. He's proven that twice. You know, against Sheffield Wednesday, and the, the last time he went up and Wickham this season. You know, late goals, late winners, screamers. You know, Mario Vrancic had that wow factor about him and... Uh, yeah, I, I would have maybe like to see him do a bit more in the Premier League next season. Um, you know, he got very limited opportunities last season when he did uh, start, which was against Spurs. He uh, obviously scored and almost got an assist to that uh, pookie goal, which was ruled out for VAR. Still salty about that, by the way. But no, Mario Vrancic has been uh, you know an excellent, excellent player. Obviously, I think the first season wasn't his greatest. You know, he's been put out wide, but as soon as he found his form and found his feet, he was excellent. And uh, both will be both will be missed. Um, Miss dearly, um, but yeah, I'd imagine we'd be going with a very, very second, string, not full second string side, but a lot of rotation players because obviously Pookie's injured, Skip is injured, and Skip's gone back to Spurs. I still think we're going to sign him. Quintia's obviously gone back, which is unfortunate. I, I thought there was an obligation to buy there, but potentially not, um, which is fine. But I, yeah, I, I was a big fan of Xavi, so uh, yeah, we'll miss him. Uh, but yeah, I reckon there will be a few rotation players. So in goal, I think I want to see Nyland start. I know Crawl, I think we just should rest Crawl, you know, not get him any injuries um, before the Euros for one and then for um, for the start of next season. Keep him safe, start Nyland, give him a run out. Uh, right back, uh, Max Aarons, left back, Giannoulis. He's obviously back from suspension now. Two centre backs. Uh, Andrew Mavamadeli and Grant Hanley. Centre midfielders, for me, have to be Alex Tetty and Mario Vrancic. They've got to start, and I would love to see them both score in like a 2-0 win. I'd absolutely love that. Um, and then the front three, um, the three behind the strike would be Wendia, Dow, Cantwell. And up front, Jordan Hugo, obviously with Pookie and John Wesley Hugo, maybe grab a goal potentially as well or something, I don't know. But yeah, very, very rotation side. I think we need to we need it to be rotational just to give some players a bit of rest. We've won the league, we've done our job, we've done our bit. We can't get 100 points, we can't get a points record now. We've got our you know club points record. I mean, yeah, let's go break it. But um, you know, we don't really have a lot to play for. Might as well give some players a bit of a run out um, and enjoy the final game of the season. Um, and then it's into into the Euros and the transfer window, which will be interesting for Norwich. Who are we going to sign? Who are we going to bring in to strengthen this Norwich City side ready for the Premier League next season? The fixtures get announced very soon as well, halfway through June, so a month and a bit um, until fixtures get announced. And hopefully by then, fans will be back in stadiums. That is the dream. That is what we want. Um, but yeah, like I say, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos also go follow my socials the links of them will be down in the description and i shall see you guys later